How's it going guys? Uh, welcome to another video here with Technofan PTY. Luis here and today I have here to review the next book Flex 11. This is a brand new computer Windows 8.1 that came out a couple of days ago available at Walmart. So let's go ahead and start with the review of this new tablet right now. Before we start with the tablet, let's go ahead and take a quick look here and see what they advertise outside of the box. As you guys can see, next book, Flex 11, that's the name of the tablet. 11.6 inches quad core processor, Windows 8.1 tablet. Uh, we also see right here, detachable keyboard, uh, supports uh, Bluetooth 4.0. It comes with a micro HDMI port, of course, a Wi-Fi, Windows 8.1. Here's the resolution of the uh, screen, uh, 1366 by 768. IPS display and Intel processor. Let's uh, take a look here at the back of the box and this is where they uh, mentioned some of the uh, specs right here. So as I already mentioned the uh, screen resolution is uh, 1366 by 768 IPS touch screen. Uh, Intel Bay Trail quad core 1.8 GHz processor. Uh, we have a front facing and a rear camera with uh, 2 megapixel both. Uh, right here, as far as the storage, it comes with a 64 GB of uh, internal storage, expandable to 64 GB with a micro SD card, uh, 2 GB of DDR3 uh, system memory, battery, it's a 9000 milliamp, uh, estimated uh, usage, it's about 8 hours of uh, continuous usage. And right here, we see Bluetooth 4.0, micro HDMI. So those are the main specs. Uh, let's go ahead and now take a look at the tablet and all the ports and all that. So here's a look at the tablet, guys. Uh, it looks super, super nice. Uh, my first impression when I saw the tablet was, uh, wow, this tablet looks super nice. Um, not just uh, the, uh, the feeling, the look of the tablet, but the material, it looks super nice outside. So let's go ahead and take a closer look here at the port. Alright guys, uh, as far as the port, as you can see, we have a full size uh, USB port right here. Uh, this is the uh, audio jack cable port, uh, microphone right there. This is a, a port to charge the tablet. We see right here the uh, micro USB port, micro HDMI. Uh, looks like this is another microphone right there. Uh, this right here is uh, the access to the micro SD card that supports uh, up to 64 gigabyte. Uh, full size uh, USB port right here, part of the uh, keyboard. Uh, coming to this uh, side of the tablet, we don't have anything on the front. Uh, right here on the back, we see a uh, value rocker, uh, Windows uh, home button, and power button right there. Uh, right here on this side, we see another full size uh, USB port. Uh, this is how the tablet looks like on the back and the hinge uh, mechanism. And right here we see two speakers. There is uh, one right here and another one right here. Intel uh, logo, next book, right in the middle. And take a look at the uh, rear camera. It looks uh, really nice with that uh, aluminum uh, ring that goes uh, around the camera. Uh, this is how the tablet looks like from the bottom. Uh, we see right here four rubber feet with a square shape. And let's go ahead and open the tablet and see how it looks like. So there is a tablet open and as you guys can see we have this uh, really nice uh, blue color uh, inside of the keyboard. This tablet also supports a backlit keyboard. So it lights up every time we connect uh, the tablet to the keyboard. Uh, as you guys can see the uh, mouse track it's a little bit small and uh, the keys are so also a little bit small compared to all the other 11.6 uh, inch uh, tablets or laptops. Uh, right here we see some uh, LED indicators. I believe this is a uh, power. And there are a couple of other LED indicators. I'm not quite sure what, what they are for. Uh, other than that, we don't have anything else here. And this is the button right here to detach uh, the tablet from uh, the keyboard. So if we detach it, hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, when we are uh, connected again, you're gonna see the lights on the keyboard. Uh, take a look at the bottom here are the connectors for the uh, 
for the keyboard. And these are right here, the ports that comes with the tablet. So uh, as far as the actual tablet alone, it actually feels uh, really nice. I love this uh, material, even though it attracts uh, oil from your hands as well as uh, fingerprints. Out. But this is all rubberized. It feels really nice, really soft uh, to the touch. And as far as just the tablet alone, it feels nice. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel uh, cheap or anything like that. It feels like a good solid tablet, good material. I really like the uh, silver color right here that makes a nice contrast with the black uh, color of the tablet. So let me go ahead and connect this here. And as you guys can see, the keyboard lights up as a result of uh, the connection right there. Let's go ahead and unlock the tablet. All right, guys, uh, we're taking a look here at the uh, Windows uh, desktop. So as I said before, this is a uh, Windows 8.1. So I'm not gonna get into reviewing Windows. Just give you guys uh, all the uh, uh, different uh, specifications and my opinion on the actual tablet, but just to give you guys an idea as far as like opening different things as you guys can see it moves are uh, really quick and let's go ahead and open here the browser there is a uh, youtube this is the internet explorer i believe internet explorer 10 in the touch uh, version and just to give you guys an idea as far as the browsing experience here's another um, web page uh, if we do zoom in and zoom out, take a look at the uh, how clear the text uh, looks like as a result of the uh, IPS display 720p resolution. Uh, very clear, really easy to zoom in and zoom out. So as far as a uh, browsing experience, no complaints at all. Uh, you can go ahead and go through all the different apps that you have open. As you guys can see, it doesn't slow down the tablet at all. Let's uh, take a look here at the maps. And again, you know, because of the um, the uh, high definition uh, display, the maps actually look super nice. And let's leave that open there and let's uh, keep going through other ones. And let's uh, take a look here at uh, the camera interface. As I mentioned before, uh, the tablet comes with uh, Two megapixel front facing camera and a two megapixel rear camera. Here's a look at the uh, camera interface, which uh, looks uh, very simple. And I will say, do not rely on the camera uh, just as your primary camera. This is just uh, to make it available in case you want to do, like, you know, videos or video calling or video conferences or something like that. The, but very simple interface. Uh, we see right here the uh, camera and video uh, buttons or icons. Just a press right there to take a picture. It takes the pictures uh, pretty quick. Here's the uh, video recording. As you guys can see, there is a timer going on. And uh, there's no option to pause the video, so keep that in mind. Uh, if we swipe from the bottom to the top, uh, we're gonna get access right here to change between front and rear camera. You get the timer, you get the exposure and right here camera roll if we swipe from this side and get access to options uh, this is going to give you a couple of other options as far as the uh, photo aspect ratio uh, grid lines uh, you can tap on the screen to take pictures and you can turn on the location so uh, that's as far as uh, the camera let's let me see if i can show you guys a quick here some uh, picture samples Again, you know, it's not the best quality, but for a two megapixel a camera, to be honest with you, they don't look bad. So these are a couple of pictures that I took with the uh, rear camera. The, there is this one. So as you guys can see, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, so keep in mind it's just a 2 megapixel uh, rear camera. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look here at the uh, control panel so you guys can see the, uh, the specs of the tablet.
Uh, let me see if I can bring this close. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Um, Intel Atom, 1.33 gigahertz. Install memory RAM, two gigabyte, 32 bit operating system. So the processor can run up to 1.83, I believe. So that's as far as uh, the specs uh, from the uh, control panel. Uh, one of the cool things also on this tablet and Windows 8.1 is that you can do the multi window. So you can be looking at two different applications. And as you guys can see, we're looking right here at maps and we're looking here at the browser. Now, as far as the typing experience, um, I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of flexing on the uh, on the keyboard. So I'm going to try to type something here and let you guys uh, look at the keyboard. So I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I feel like it flex a little bit. Not too bad, but it does flex a little bit. Uh, so keep that in mind. And as I said uh, earlier, the keys are not the full size uh, keys that you will find on other 11.6 uh, computers. Uh, as an example, guys, uh, here's my uh, HP MBX2, which is also an 11.6 uh, computer or tablet. So let me go ahead and open the keyboard so you guys can see also on the uh, HP the mouse track is uh, way bigger so take a look at the, the keys so as you guys can see the keys are bigger on the uh, HP as well as the mouse track take a look at that so just to keep in mind that uh, that's not to say that uh, you're gonna have a bad experience uh, when it comes to the typing but just to keep that in mind as far as a uh, battery I think it's a pretty decent battery. Uh, you're gonna get between eight to 10 hours of usage, uh, depending on the settings, uh, depending on the brightness and all that. Uh, last but not least, I wanna show you guys uh, the quality on the speakers uh, located on the back of the tablet. Uh, by the way, the, the sound is not that loud and it's not you know, that good quality. Uh, but you know, overall, this is a pretty decent machine, pretty decent performance for the price. All right, guys, I'm playing some uh, video right now with uh, the with house uh, music in the background. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the volume all the way up. So the volume here on YouTube is all the way up. Let's uh, take a look at the volume here on the back. So that's the volume right there all the way up. Now another, another thing guys uh, to keep in mind is, is that the volume is on the back of the tablet. So it kind of makes it difficult, you know, when you're watching something and you want to turn up or down the volume, you have to reach in the back of the tablet and it's kind of hard to tell where the volume is. So there you have it, uh, final conclusions. I think it's a really good machine for the price. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is uh, about $260 or something like that. Uh, you get a really nice uh, performance, nothing high performance. I would not recommend trying to play uh, high graphic games uh, with this machine. I think it's just for uh, basic uh, operations. Uh, you get dual cameras and very nice, uh, good looking computer. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this uh, video. Please subscribe for more. Uh, share the video to help us, and I will see you guys on the next one. See you later.